now sitting with Greg Gregson. Hello. Hello, Sue. How are you doing? I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing great. <laughs> is this your first time in Thailand? This is my very first time in Thailand. And how are you liking it? I love it. It's awesome. Okay. You know, plus I'm here visiting a good friend of mine. You know, Surichai that has Silver Lake here and I have known each other since we were 14 years old. And is that how you got involved in this concert? That's exactly right. Surichai came back to the States uh, to a class reunion because we went to high school together and I was playing with my band at the class reunion and uh, I had brought a guitar for Sir Chai and he sat in and he played with us and he invited me to come play this concert here in Pattaya. And so it's going to be for a good cause as well. It's for a great cause. You know, leave it up to Sir Chai to think of that, you know. He says, he, he didn't tell me that first. He says, great, this is for Haiti. And I says, great. I says, every CD I got, you know, I don't, just keep the money, you know. Let's just do the show. Let's have a good time, you know. And, and it's a wonderful cause. Are you going to still uh, sell the CDs uh, even after this concert? How, where can we get these CDs? You can buy the CDs here at the concert, but every CD that's sold, the money goes right back into the kitty for Thailand. Okay, that's great. Now, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself for the people who don't really know you. Uh, I know that you started singing in the choir when you were a small boy, and then after that you became a professional singer. And then later on, you moved to audio engineering to produce your own music for yourself and for other people as well. Tell us all these transition okay. periods. Well, I started off taking voice at six years old. Uh, I got, as a child, I had a lot of acting experience in plays and stuff, and I got the lead child role in a lot of roles. Then I went on through high school singing and playing in bands. When I went to, got out of college, uh, I was an opera major in college. I had a... You know, I was offered a scholarship in opera or SFA. But then uh, after that, I started playing with my bands. I went on down to, and worked for at Mickey Gillies. I don't know if you ever heard of the Urban Cowboy movie. But I worked for Mickey Gilly for a while. Then I wound up moving to California. And then in California, I got a degree in audio engineering at a small uh, recording school there in the valley in California. And owned a studio for quite a few years. I produced a lot of records for people you know plus i played all the time myself and wrote uh actually for one thing i did a whole three or four years of punk albums for a record label in germany and i was just on the internet the other day and i saw all these my name came up as the doing all these punk albums i forgot about it <laughs> it was pretty cool what do you do nowadays well uh, right now i live in san antonio texas and i also have i work austin and san antonio are about 60 miles apart and my brother and I have, and uh, we bought an old movie theater in San Marcos, just south of Austin. And this fall, we're opening up a thousand-seat concert venue there. And we have a college there called Texas State University, about two blocks from the uh, theater. And there's about 35,000 college students. So we're going to be have a big venue. And I still play four or five nights a week in San Antonio at a place called the Howl at the Moon. It's a dueling piano. I do a piano show with another grand piano player. We play back and forth. And it's what are you playing tonight? Beg your pardon? What are you playing tonight? What are you singing tonight? What I'm doing tonight is I'm going to do some stuff off my album. I'm going to do some stuff from uh, some Texas artists. And I've mixed in some Ray Charles. Just some stuff for fun, you know, because I didn't know that everybody here might not have heard the stuff off my album. So I thought I'd give them some stuff they recognize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. introduce with. them. Yeah. yeah. But we're, the band I got is great. They're called Blue on Blue out of Bangkok, Young Blues guys. They're, they, uh, they're actually playing this Sunday at the Saxophone Club. They did a great job. They learned all my music. Hank, uh, Hank the Groove from Bangkok Connection uh, found all the guys, put the whole uh, band together for me, helped me rehearse them. He's kind of my band leader on this. Everybody's just it's been wonderful. We had three rehearsals, and I think you're going to be real surprised. These kids really rock and roll. They do a dang good job. <laughs> okay. So uh, for this uh, Help Haiti concert tonight, yes, this is uh, you're doing this for Kunsura Chai. You're here to help him and all that. Uh -huh. Are you going to be doing concerts like this again in the near future somewhere? <clears throat> I don't know about the very real near future because when I get back to Texas, I've got a start. I've got a bunch of shows that I have to do that I already have on my books, and then I'm starting to work on that theater. But Sura Chai is talking when he's planning on next year having uh, four shows. We're going to do more of a little tour thing. And if Haiti still needs help, I'm sure we'll help them some more. Yeah. 
I think it should be ongoing. Yeah, I think so too, because that, that country got decimated, and they weren't in great shape to begin with. But, you know, I think it's real important that we all help each other, you know, and, it's, and music, music is a good means to do that, you know, it's, it really is. That's one thing I've enjoyed about the, being in the music business is not, not the money or the, or the attention or anything, but the fact that sometimes I write a song and it means a lot to somebody and, I've, you know, just in their own special way, you know. And so if you can be uplifting to anyone, I think it's a good cause. That is true. And we hope to have concerts like this more to come and also to have you here performing as well. Well, I'm looking forward to coming back, and I hope everybody enjoys the show tonight. And, uh, I really appreciate the interview, and, uh, and good luck with everything, and I'm real thrilled to be here, you know. Thank you. Thank you, Ray. If you want more information, go to Gray Gregson's website. Thank you. I despise you because you're losing.